I want to keep it where it says Sea Star Memorial. So yeah, see, this is our wood here. So we got our, that lined up. So this will take some practice getting this down. We know that this is going to go to the side of the diamond. That goes to the side of the diamond. So if you draw the sides first and then come in, it looks like it's going to be easier, huh? Diamond. So see, there's, I kind of like the CO thing because they're both carbons, and now you know that one is going to have the oxygen on it, and then there's another carbon. But see this now? This is going to be cool. You can draw all the amino acids down there. So let's do the simple ones first. <laughs> draw our protons in there. There's no protons on that because that's got all four. This here has got one lone pair, so that gets one. This carbon, because of the way these were formed, gets it. So let's draw those in there. Huh? See, it's a repeating thing. And like I said, really, if you were doing this, it would be, this would have to be upside down facing that way. So each protein is going back and forth on there. But look what we can do now. So we got those lined up. We'll do our simplest ones first because there's one that all it has down here is, they call it an H, but we're just calling it a proton. So there's a dot. That is called, let's see, we're going to write them black because these are the ones that are called nonpolar. So this is the simplest amino acid, glycine. Glycine. Simplest amino acid. <laughs> God, look at that. Where's that white? Tell me this white crayon stuff will work. Is there any white out anywhere? Look at that. Kind of worked. So see, when we get better, we're going to start using our uh, things there. So there's glycine. Next simplest one. See, we don't want to waste our good paper on the simple ones. Next simplest amino acid just has a methyl group out there. So what's a methyl? A diamond. Diamond with three H's, so there's boing, boing, boing. It's the next simplest amino acid. Hmm? Looks like a court jester now, huh? Boing, 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 boing. I think we've got to do something with the circle up here. This, the, the green, it's a wasted opportunity of sorts. Should we at least make it a donut or something? I I think it should all be green. I'm going to waste all my ink here. But we're going to start using the crayon soon. So there is another what's called hydrophobic. Just think of it more as the carbon loving kind. Next simplest amino acid is alanine. You see that, kids? Line these two together now. See the way we're stringing along an amino acid, right? So, got another piece of scrap paper here. What's our third one here? Go back, see if we remember how to do this. We've, we're going to line it up. We've got to grab our other ones here. Don't just go throwing them on the floor like me. So line it up. We're going to do our triangle. We're here, we want to line up. See, now that we're getting better, we can draw a little because we know what it's going to represent. So we'll just draw a little diamond. And see, it's going to line up. We already know. So now we can do whatever we want. What do we have? We know we've got a diamond down here. But we kind of, what are we going to catch? We're going to get, the oxygen is going to get these two. So it's going to have to be on the bottom of the diamond. That's going to go to the side. And that'll go to the side. Draw dots. There's probably people like you. I want to draw the dots. 
So there's the dots. Do we even need to color it in? Since these are all recyclable markers I found in the dumpster, sure, we'll color them in. So this is child's play. This is going to be in my coloring book. It should be blue. So what's down here now? This is our next group coming down. It's usually always a carb in there. So it's going to be a diamond. Fill it up a little. I'm going to start making it small. So there's a diamond, four bonds on it. What this gets is valine. So it gets a diamond out there, a diamond out there, So when I look at this, it's called valine. Call this val. Someone get three letter designations. They get single ones, but I don't like it because it overlaps. Stick with the three. I like val. Okay, so there's val. Look at this. This kind of looks like Hercules in the middle, right? You could call this like the amino acid uh, balancing. You see the art there? I mean, come on. Oh, we're doing chemistry. Oh, okay, so what do we got to do? We got some carbons here. Empty triangles. So what do we do with the empty triangles? Any double bonds in this? No. So just draw the dots. One. Got three dots. It's a methyl. So see how you're talking chemistry now. I mean, you got this. It's got two methyl groups on the end of a carbon in there. All by the diamonds. So again, we're using our hokey markers here, <laughs> the cheap ones. I hope my better markers turn out better. So how do we do it again? Class. 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 Oh, Cheech and Chong, the winners. Listen to Cheech and Chong. We're still doing the simple ones here, so we'll use this gal's, oh, what was it called again? Her. We're stuttering. Uh-oh. We don't know what we're talking about now. You guys are in trouble. Her resume. Okay, we're going to keep using the cheap markers on these simple ones here because these are the boring hydrocarbon ones. So we use this as our template. We come up on our triangle. There's our triangle to line up. Other side, what do we got? Our diamond. And see, kids, I know you'll do it better than I do because I'm old and lazy. If I draw a diamond like it should be, this would look a lot better. I should do you the respect of doing that, shouldn't I? So there's a diamond. Diamond in the middle. The diamonds are bound on the side to the bottom. To the side of the end. Some of you that like your dots, we'll draw our dots first. There's dot, dot. Come down here, we got, this is going to be what our... Our active part is, so we're going to draw it in here, here, C. This is our CO, remember? So if we draw CO, we're going to know the two greens are up here. Now this is our N for nitrogen. What more is there now? That's amino acid backbone. Our next simplest is now going to be, okay, we did leucine. I guess we got to do leucine again because if we don't, we won't have her on the paper. So where's the one we just did with all those methyls? Okay, so see there, valine? It's got two methyls in the middle. Well, now we're going to do leucine, which as you see, I'm going to do a script L. Leucine. She gets abbreviation L-E-U. Elu. Lu, Lu, skip to Malu, scene. It gets two diamonds. Straight down, two diamonds. I'll color them in even, make it look easier. So see here? It's going to end up being the same as the valine on the bottom, except it's going to have two carbons in there. You see that? We'll come down one, two. Now throw our two diamonds off to the side there. 